Hello and welcome to a new video about measurement. This time we're talking about another proximity switch. This time we're talking about a capacitive proximity switch. All right? I have one here on my desk. Well, look at that. This is uh, this capacit proximity switch. One example, one cheap example, because I just bought them to, to, to test them. Looking pretty much the same. Uh, as the inductive switch, right? So we have here again the two screws. We can mount it somewhere. If we have somewhere uh, a hole, we can maybe a long hole, then we can shift it yeah? and then screw it, fix it, adjust a switching distance to whatever we want to, to do. Okay, so this is working on capacitive base. This means I have here again my board. Here's my board. Here's my little light. Yeah, I have adjusted to eight volts as before. Uh, well, let's see what is written on there. Here, you see, uh, six to thirty-six volts. This is okay. And plus is brown, blue is minus and the switch is black all right so blue is minus i will put them to minus and brown is here go in In a real environment, of course, it would be okay, should be sufficient. And one, the switched one is going here, so we should be able to switch with our proximity switch this LED. And now, this is metal. This metal worked with our inductive proxim proximity switch. We see nothing. Is happening here. Yeah. If I, if I use my hand, oh, my hand is working. My hand was not working on inductive proximity switch. This is because this thing here works with um, based on capacitive. Yeah. And the more something is able to change the capacity of the surrounding, the better it will detect. Why it is not detecting this? Yeah. Because this has not an, you know, the sensitivity for the sensor is too low for the change of the capacity of adding this. Yeah? Here, my body consists to a good part of water, and water has a very high uh, ability to change capacity because this epsilon r is very high, around 80. Yeah? So I can change my, but I still have to touch it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. So here on the back side, we usually have some sort of screw. Yeah? And this screw, if I turn it in the right direction, I'm not sure. Ah, no, yeah. Now it should be more sensitive and see. I still have to come close. Is it already detecting the table? No. This is also not detected. Let's see, let's make it a little bit more sensitive. Oh, come on. Okay. What is going on now with my hand? Huh? I do not have to touch it anymore. Is it already detecting here? No, the table is not detected. Detected. This is already working. You see, it detecting metal. It detecting well, liquids very good. Let's make it still a little bit more. Ooh, now it's never turning off. Uh -huh, okay, maybe it is a little bit was a little bit too much. Turn it back. See what is happening now. 
Huh? You see, I could change the distance, the switching distance for my finger. This detected, this screwdriver detected. Yeah. Let's see, table detected. I do not even have to touch. Multiple materials, multiple materials can be detected. Would be cool if we, if this was. <laughs> yeah. Let's see this, this bags here. Oh, so this is working now. Multiple materials can be detected by these sensors. All right. So put this away. Make a list what we have observed. Yeah. Okay, so capacitive proximity switch. What are, are uh, the, the, the things we observed? Yeah. So working, working with any material. The higher epsilon r, the relative uh, strength of 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 the electricum is, yeah, huh? the better. Huh? The better means the more insensitivity can be used. Yeah? Why is this good? Yeah, means not need needed to be very sensitive. Yeah? For materials with epsilon r close to 1, so that we cannot really distinguish if we are in you know, air or vacuum, or, or it is not working pretty well. Yeah? Because simply it does not see it. Yeah? For materials with epsilon r different from 1, yeah? then this is this always marks how much change there is compared to vacuum. Yeah? Air is now no change at all or minor change. Yeah? Plastics usually are at epsilon r around two three. Oil also two three. Yeah? Water working pretty well. Epsilon r of eighty. Yeah? So it changes the the capacity very much. Yeah. So, I try maybe epsilon r, some examples, yeah. uh, plastics, around 2 to 4, okay, then we have oil, this is usually 2 to 3, water, 80, yeah. this is why my finger worked pretty well. All right, so my finger can be detected with very low sensitivity. Why is this good? You know, if we detect every material, if we detect every material, then dirt is a problem. Okay, so that's the upside. The minus side actually is, yeah, Dirt might be an issue, you know, if we are covering this in dust, or maybe, you know, maybe there is some some spray or, or something like this, yeah, oil dust or yeah, particles dust and so on, yeah. Can trigger the switching. Whenever yeah, we need to detect something which is not metal, we have to use this capacitive proximity switches. However, we have to live with the, with the downside that dirt and so on might influence this. Yeah? So, I don't know, in our car, 
we have to stop also for stones for for people <laughs> animals or whatever yeah and we have to detect it yeah? so there should be capacity however also on the car problem you know crust and so on so there needs to be adapted the sensitivity somehow yeah so this is not that easy all right capacitive proximity switches Next time we are going to talk about uh, optoelectric sensors. Uh, so for the capacity things, I think we're done. Next time optoelectric sensors, so light switches, uh, how these are working. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.